Our lives, are like snow. We come into the world, wet and amorphous. Then, we fall through wind, and temperatures that can kill. There is no one to catch us, and so, we harden into something solid and unique, but fragile. And for a time, we form the most miraculous architecture. Spires of tremendous height, intricate bridges and leaning towers. And when our season, has ended, the illusion of our permanence changes form once again and is gone from this, big, blue, ball of nonsense, we call home. The Big Blue Ball of Nonsense Part 1 Boom Dam and Dryer Furniture Shipping This is Carla speaking. I have you on speakerphone, Carla. And also this is being recorded. No problem. I'm also have you on speakerphone. Now that we've explained to the audience why, neither person on the phone, has a phone. I need to check on my delivery. Absolutely. Your order is very important to us. What's the delivery number? 57,114. My address is 989,898 West East Gano Street. Providence. And what's your address? My address is 989,898 West East Gano Street. Providence. Okay, that's a delivery for Martin Peterson. In Barrington at 679 Thames Street. No. My name is Chad, and my address is 989,898 West East Gano Street. Providence. Two dining, room tables, and a dog bed, to Point Judas. No. That's a bookshelf, sofa, and mattress and the address is in Providence. Okay sir. If you can calm down. As soon as you get me your order number, and address, I can look up your account. Meanwhile, elsewhere in the city. Stop that. That's not nice. Stop that. Start again. He just kept squeezing his hand into a fist. The gesture was like he was chalking me. But he didn't touch you? No. He wasn't close enough. Maybe three feet from me. But I could tell he was strangling me in his mind. Okay, thanks. Yes. Thank you for your bravery. I just transferred here, Chief. So, fill me in. Is this your sense of humor? You wouldn't be laughing, if it happened to you. Yeah. I probably would laugh. I've been following the Santa Claus, killer for years. Wait a minute. What was this guy wearing? T-shirt. Jeans. Oh, yeah, and a giant skull head that covered his entire face. That doesn't sound like a Santa suit to me, boss. He doesn't dress like Santa. Okay, why well, call him the Santa Claus, killer? Maybe it's because he strikes at Christmas. Christmas was last month. Maybe it's because somewhere out there in this big blue ball of nonsense we call home, a child is waiting for a gift that just ain't coming. They're going to have to wait 11 more months. Still think, this is, funny. Officer, Swin Sing. Nope. So, how many people, has this killer, killed? No one. You know, I'm not a rookie. Right? I will seriously, go to the Union. Is it so hard, to believe? An incompetent killer? We have incompetent. Movers, bankers, politicians. Delivery people, sales people, doctors, lawyers, teachers, police. When was the last time you dealt with a truly competent person in America? Two thousand nineteen. Oh wait, I was traveling in Canada. 
And is there anything else you want to tell us? Yes. Tell that, I jumped. I told him I wasn't just some one-dimensional character who was only going to appear in one episode. Across town, three hours later. Yes. Providence is the city. Perfect. Your order should arrive in Newport early next month. No. It's supposed to arrive today. In Providence. Yes, that's what I have here. Today. In Providence. Great. Do you know what time? What's the delivery window? Yes, sir. I'll tell them if they can't deliver by four. Cancel the order. Thank you for shopping with us. We do. Recognize that you have no choice. As our parent company owns all the other companies. Goodbye. In the subway. Did he hurt you? Doll, Mary don't play with clowns, lest their name is Bruno. Then, Mary will play all night. But, he tried to hurt you? It was kind of weird. Doll, I don't think you have much experience. For one thing, you're not close enough. Okay so, why did you call the cops? Mary don't call the cops, doll. Ever. I called the... Were you afraid the man in the skull mask was going to hurt Mary? No. I was not. Did you think he would come after you next? No. He was already hurting me. Forcing me to see his awful shoes. When I do not want to see his terrible shoes. I had to look at something I didn't like for over one minute. That's not a crime. Yes, it is. Officer stupid lady who doesn't do what I want. Arrest him. I'm not sure how he's broken the law. And also, he's not here. He's gone. Fine. Then... I don't care what happens. Everyone can just take a bus to Boston. Back at the apartment on Gano Street. This new furniture sure looks like the old furniture. They haven't delivered it yet. Donkey Kong and Jelly Donuts. Chad. Can you handle one simple task? I'm probably going to have to go out onto the street and look for the driver. Unbelievable. Next, you're going to blame the company. You could help. It is your furniture, too. I'm thinking about it. At a diner near the state house. Oh, good. Join me. What did the victim say? Do you mean the woman who probably could have killed the Santa Claus killer? Or the overgrown toddler who threw a hissy fit? because of the killer's fashion sense. You don't believe in the Santa Claus killer? No. Sir. I don't. It doesn't even make sense to me that he's called the Santa Claus killer. I'm open-minded. And I value my officers. So, let's hear it. Build your case, officer swim some. Okay. He doesn't dress like Santa. He hasn't killed anyone. This episode is airing in the middle of the summer. Need I go on? Okay, I've heard you. Clearly, you still dismiss the incompetence theory. How can a killer who is so incompetent they don't kill still be a killer? Tell me this, Officer Champagne. Let's say a delivery driver sits in their truck three streets away from your house while you watch them on the company's tracking app. After hours of not moving, they mark your package, a failed delivery, without ever coming to your door. How can they be called a delivery driver? That's one example. How can a delivery driver mark your package, delivered, and then drive around with it in their trunk for three days 
before actually delivering it, and still call themselves a delivery driver. That's one industry. How can a doctor pull out their phone and Google your symptoms in front of you and still call themselves a doctor? Fine. Two industries. And a therapist take out their phone in the middle of you talking to them about childhood abuse. I've only had that happen to me twice. How can cop who can't even remember his officer's names run a police department? No. 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 Get at it. Together. Teresa. This is America. Everything is great. Everyone is happy. Everything is. It's all true. I see it now. When you stop compartmentalizing every single experience. And when you stop drinking every single day. It's clear. The Santa Claus killer is real. That concludes this week's episode. You're welcome. Until next Sunday, remember, watch, like, subscribe, evangelize.